In patients who need to have ovarian masses further evaluated, typically uh, a gynecologic oncologist would be involved and uh, a woman would be taken for laparoscopic surgery or open surgery. Laparoscopic surgery involves um, placing ports that are about a quarter of an inch in diameter uh, into the abdomen, inflating the abdomen with air to give you space to work, and removing the ovaries. Typically, in my practice, we would then send these ovaries to the pathologist while the patient is still asleep to evaluate to see if there's a malignancy. And if there is, then there's further surgery that has to be done. The decision to do laparoscopic surgery um, versus uh, robotic surgery hinges on many things. Uh, it's a conversation between the surgeon and the patient. In my practice, uh, robotic surgery is the equivalent of pulling the Maserati out of the garage. Usually I use my Prius to drive from place to place, but sometimes it's nice to have the sports car. Uh, the robot can be very applicable to patients who are uh, extremely overweight. Uh, it gives you the flexibility that um, can make the difference between being able to accomplish the surgery in a minimally invasive manner or not. What to expect after surgery. Uh, laparoscopic surgery is typically an outpatient surgery. Sometimes patients spend the night and typically they are back to their normal activities within about two weeks and take minimal amounts of pain medication, usually just non-steroidal medications like Advil, Motrin, Ibuprofen. Open surgery uh, can be done if a mass is very large or if there's a suspicion, a strong suspicion for malignancy. Uh, patients who undergo open surgery typically spend about three to four days in the hospital and they typically spend between four to six weeks before they're back to normal functioning.